What we're looking at here today is the tower program, the toilet with on-site waste remediation for DOD applications. And what was alarming to us is that 60% of all injuries in the last two conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan has been support staff. This support staff has been trucking in water, trucking out waste, trucking in fuel. All these parameters or all these commodities that were being brought in were to sustain a Ford operating base. What we're looking at is generating a decentralized waste processing system. So we're actually taking the waste from a flush, we're separating the liquid from the solid, we're treating the liquid to disinfection or sterilization, and then we're drying the solid and then combusting it. We have a dryer and combustor system. The combustor burns the dried feces to provide the heat for the dryer. So it's, a, it's kind of a closed loop there. And then hopefully using that thermal energy that we use as a combustion and then translating that into energy. Yeah, we see a lot of uh, other sort of platforms to utilize this approach to having a mobile technology uh, that treats human waste on site. So one certainly is for emergency response, uh, disaster settings after a tornado or a flood or a hurricane, um, having something that could come in where people are, uh, where they may have lost what they had, uh, or they're being resettled into a new site that has no types of infrastructure. This could be uh, one platform to service that need. Another big problem in our world today is refugees. Uh, we've got big camps, um, thousands of thousands of people um, that are brought together and turned into small cities. They don't have either the time or the resources really to construct uh, pipe sewage treatment plants. This project is important to me and as well as RTI to improve the human condition. We work towards solving sanitation issues around the world and it makes me feel good to do my job. This program all started with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and we looked at taking transformative technologies to the, the underdeveloped world to look at their sanitation and waste problems. At that time, about three or four years ago, we partnered up with Natick the soldier welfare division there, uh, working with their research scientists and looking at taking those technologies and translating them over to DOD applications. The way we have treated it in the past uh, is not very smart. It's a big uh, use of energy. It's a horrible waste of water. and is It's a neglected issue. Almost 2.4 billion people around the world lack access to safe uh, sanitation services. Um, what's nice about the DOD program that we have with Natick is that it's hopefully going to solve a problem for them. Now we can reduce the amount of time, energy, and personnel that it takes to sustain these Ford operating bases. We'll not only save lives, but we'll also save funding for those bases.